Uh, my name is Amanda Tozer, I'm a consultant gynaecologist subspecialising in reproductive medicine and I'm going to teach you today how to do your drugs for IVF treatment. Now, when you first get your pack of drugs, it might be a little bit overwhelming. You might get a whole array of different drugs in front of you thinking, oh my goodness, what am I supposed to do with all of these? But don't worry, of course, somebody's going to teach you, they're going to go through it with you. And the aim of this video is, should you forget, you can always refer back to this video to remind yourself on how to give those drugs. So the first drug I'm going to show you how to inject is something called uh, Bucerolin. It's actually called Supracur, I know, but we always refer to it as Bucerolin. Your Bucerolin will come in a box like this. You take it out of the box and it looks like this. It is a fluid. There are 5.5 mils in this bottle and mine, as you can see, is being used. But the most important thing is there's just a small strip here where you can see the fluid line. You will also be provided by a number of syringes. And these syringes, you can see, are graded down to 100. Now, take the bottom end off your syringe, the top end off your syringe, and invert your bottle a lot so you can see along the line. So you can see the tip of the needle going into the fluid. Put the needle into the fluid. And I suggest you withdraw down to the 80 mark, and then push it back into the 50 so that it will expel any air bubbles. You can remove it from the bottle, it doesn't come out, and then you are going to inject this either into the abdomen or into the thigh, whichever is your preference. Once you have injected the drug and finished with the needle, you will then put this in your sharp spin that you will have been provided. I'll put it in my sharp spin now. I'm now going to show you how to use the drug Gonal F. You will receive a box or a number of boxes that look like this and you will be asked to store these in the refrigerator. If for example you're going out for the evening, you can take it out with you in your bag and it will not damage the drug at all. But please do store the drugs in the fridge. In your box, you will have a pen and lots of needles and I'm going to show you how to use it. You will be told an exact dose of drugs that you need and do take the top off the pen and you will be able to see that your pen has a graduation down. It tells you exactly the dose are in there and going to left pens come in a variety of doses this is a 900 IUI pen, but it also comes as a 300 IUI pen and a 450 IUI pen. They all work exactly the same. You will be told the actual amount and there's a dialing system at the end and you'll be able to see there's a figure here that you'll be asked to dial up to. So for example, I'm going to dial this to uh, 250. Now, I then take my needle out of the box and these have a small flip on the end take it off and the way it works is it's a push system and twist so push and twist it doesn't matter if you dial up with the needle on or the needle off and if you've dialed and are worried, you can still twist it, okay? You can still move the end, so do not worry. Just make sure you have it dialed to the right number before you inject. You then take off the outer cap, and you'll see there's a small green cap on. You need to take this off as well. And then again, you're going to inject this either into the abdomen, or you can inject it into the thigh. Once you have injected the drug, Remove the needle off just by twisting it and you'll be provided with your sharp spin that you can place the needle into. Yeah. I'm now going to show you how to use the drug Menopure. Some women are given Menopure, some women are given Gonalef. There is very little difference between the two of them and your consultant would have given you the one that's going to suit you the best. Menopure comes in powders and liquids. And each of these powders contains specifically 75 IU of something called FSH. 
and you will be given a set dose that you need to take. This may be 150, maybe 225, it depends upon how you may respond. For example, let's say we're going to do 150 units. So 150 units, we need two powders. You're provided with a lot of liquid, but you only need one liquid for those two powders. And indeed, even if you're going to be asked to inject up to six powders, you only need one liquid because all of those powders can dissolve into one liquid. You will also be given a number of two mil syringes, a number of what we call large pink needles, and a number of very small yellow needles. You will not get confused between the two. These are very large, these are very small. Put the small yellow ones to one side and take out one of the large pink needles. Take it out of its wrapper and take your 200 ml, your two mil syringe. I usually just check that the, the syringe works by putting it backwards and forwards. You'll need to attach your pink needle onto the syringe and you take your small amount of fluid, there's one mil of fluid in here. Just make sure that all the fluid is in the bottle just by tapping it gently down and then you'll need to break off the top. It's not always easy. You are then going to draw up that one mil of fluid. You will see on the pink needle that it is beveled and you need to angle that down into the fluid to make sure that you withdraw all that fluid up. This may take some practice. Don't worry. If you haven't done it, just push it back in, withdraw it up again. If you've left a few drops of fluid in the bottle again, do not worry. You've then got your fluid in the syringe. You take your Menopure ampule, take off the top, and you're going to inject that fluid into there. As you can see, it dissolves very, very quickly. Give it a small shake, and then what you're going to do is draw that fluid back up into your syringe. Again, remember your needle is beveled. Put it in the corner and draw that fluid back up. Okay, I've had lots of practice at this. You may need to practice a few times. Again, draw that fluid out. You are then going to take your second ampule to mix because we're doing 150 units. We put it back in there, inject it in, small shake again, and once again, draw up the fluid. You have now prepared the fluid ready for injection. Now, obviously, you're not going to inject with this large pink needle. So take that needle off. Take one of your nice small yellow needles. Open that up. And put that on. You can see that's far more for injecting than the large pink one. Don't worry if you've got some small air bubbles. You're not going to do yourself any damage or any harm. And people often panic and will try and get rid of them all and lose a lot of the fluid. So this is now ready for injection and you are going to inject this either into the abdomen or into the thigh, whichever you prefer. Once you have injected, you will take your sharp spin that you'll be provided with and you will pop that needle and syringe in that sharp spin. I'm now going to teach you how to use Cetratide. Cetratide comes in boxes like this and you're often given four or five of these boxes. Now, inside this box uh, there is a pre-filled syringe, there is a powder and there are two needles. One large needle for drawing up the fluid, for, for injecting the fluid and one small needle for injection. Open up your pack And take out the contents. So, as I said, you have a preloaded syringe with fluid, you have one vial containing a powder, which is the active ingredient, you have two needles. Now, the yellow needle is the larger needle, and you will be injecting the fluid with this needle. 
The smaller needle, the grey needle, is what you'll be injecting yourself with. Take the blue cap off your powder and take the white cap off the syringe. Take your yellow needle and twist onto the top. And take the top off. Then you'll inject the fluid into the capsule. Hold on to it and push it down. You're going to inject the entire contents of the syringe into the fluid. You'll see that it dissolves extremely quickly. You give it a small shake and then what you need to do is pull that fluid back up into the syringe. The end of the needle is beveled, make sure it's in the fluid and draw it up. This may take some practice. So if you're unsure, just inject it back in. Perfectly safe to do, and pull it back out again until you've got all the fluid in. And you can take your needle out. You're then going to exchange the yellow needle for the smaller grey needle by pushing it on, twist, take it off. Okay. This is much smaller and this is the needle you'll inject with. And this can be injected either into the abdomen or into the thigh, whichever you prefer. Once you've injected this fluid in, then take your sharps bin that you're provided with and dispose of all your sharps. I'm now going to show you how to inject Ovitrol. If you've been using Gonalef for your injections, then this will be very familiar to you. If you haven't, however, this may be new, and of course this injection is important. Your Ovitrol comes in a box like this. It is bluey green, and it, you are asked to keep this in the fridge. This is very important, and this should be kept refrigerated until the point that you use it. You'll be given a very specific time to use it, and when you need to, get it out of your fridge, and the box will open up and contain one injection. And it also contains one needle. Okay. I'm going to use my demo one. So the pen looks like this. You take the top off and you will be able to see this fluid inside. There's also a mark here uh, that has numbers. And you'll be asked to dial up the pen until that number shows 250. In fact, it's at its maximum at 250. You will then take the needle, take the cap off the needle, and it is a push and twist mechanism. Take the cap off the end and you'll have a small green needle cover. Now, if you've done that already and forgotten to dial it up, don't panic, you can still dial this. It will not uh, emit the fluid. So make sure it's dialed up to 250 before you give it. Take the green end off, and you're going to inject this into the abdomen or the thigh, whichever you prefer. And you're going to inject the whole 250 uh, that is in there. Once you're finished with the injection, you can then take your sharp spin that you've been provided for, provided with, and place it inside. 